Hello everybody, um, my name is Gustavo Gonzalez, I'm a Chief Technology Officer and uh, Oracle Ace Director working for IT Commerchants and uh, I'm very excited about uh, the news from Oracle uh, last week on the new eBusiness Suite release 12.2.7 so I wanted to share with you some of the you know key aspects of this new release, uh, so you can um, work and start planning uh, what to do with your current eBusiness Suite um, release and and thinking forward uh, on what to do. Now this announcement came just a few weeks before Open World, so we're very excited to have a booth at Open World and happy to. Uh, schedule meetings and talk to you about your current strategy, the current business suite strategy. So, let me let me start with you know mentioning some of of uh, you know a few things that uh, we consider important in terms of what has been uh, announced in this release. One of the key aspects uh, which I consider important is you know the the Oracle application framework user experience, um, and you know we have seen many. New features in terms of the use, you know, the user experience and, and Oracle application framework HTML pages. Um, but one of the good things that I've seen on this 12.2.7 is what Oracle calls the admin personalization workbench. Um, and this personalization workbench has what you see is what you get. The YC uh, wig. Uh, which is very important for those who have been personalizing the eBusiness Suite uh, for many years, and those uh, who can change the screen, you know, a few things here and there on HTML pages, what has been inherited, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is very important, and this is a very good feature for those who, you know, don't have to necessarily be developers and have a lot of deep skills uh, on development. To change screens um, in uh, Oracle uh, eBusiness Suite, um, you know, personalizing HTML pages. The other technical aspect that I think is very important is something that they call themes. So within eBusiness Suite, we have now themes, and these themes uh, are very close to what you can see on cloud. So for those organizations that have both you know, cloud and eBusiness Suite working in coexistence, that we are seeing that a lot, uh, well, you can tell your eBusiness Suite to match the theme that you have selected in cloud SaaS. Um, so this is very important, and we can see that Oracle eBusiness Suite is coming very closely on you know the the user experience the screens um you know and 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 the, the the web pages on what you see on cloud and eBusiness suite and that's also something important in terms of you know what we are going to be seeing in the future this coexistence strategy is going to be very important for everybody now let me jump into you know some of the functional areas that um you know the changes that have been uh, announced uh, on 12.2.7. Um, I'm going to start with procurement. So, with procurement, um, you know, there are a few things that are part of what is called the information discovery, which is a product that we've been presenting quite a while uh, for many years, um, and it's it's an addition to eBusiness Suite that works seamlessly with eBusiness Suite, but you have to license that separately. Um, uh, so that product, you know, you can have using if you are using already uh, information discovery, um, you can have uh, in eye procurement auto suggest catalog items, uh, which is a nice feature um, mimicking what is uh, the consumer experience when you go to Amazon.com and you have these suggested uh, items based on your recently purchased or you know or or the things that are on your wish list uh, now on that uh, and without you know just stepping away from the information discovery we see a new supply onboarding for non catalog items uh, this is something important in terms of non catalog items um, there is a you know be quite a few important items um, on the new features for that. Um, 
what is important here, and this is on the self-service side, uh, we have seen that there is a, you know, a, a simplified shopping cart user experience, uh, which you know, it, it's part of this, you know, consumer experience. Um, and that's something that, you know, will will continue to be a, a theme in terms of, you know, what are the new features coming up on future releases. If we move into purchasing, not the self-service, just purchasing, we we'll see that there's a, a, a good feature in terms of automating grouping of multiple requests to purchase orders. Um, you know, a typical case that you have, you know, a multiple requests and, and you can group those uh, for improving the productivity. Um, and also, um, there is a very nice feature that you can validate agreement line amounts um, during the order and release submission. Um, so that that's important. Uh, also, uh, within the procurement contracts, there is a, a con content search. Um, why this is pretty cool and I'm very excited about that, because you can do a search and with the search, search for a particular um, word or, or a phrase uh, that will look into the PDFs that you have stored as attachments. So you can find certain text um, and, and review contracts uh, with a match. Um, that, that's a very cool feature that is available in 12 to 7 um, uh, now. Um, then let's jump into projects. So in projects, we have a few features in terms of uh, project costing, um, you know, calculated labor, uh, project planning and control, uh, some you know, work plan life cycle, and then uh, on the advanced project planning. So these are quite a few uh, enhancements in in projects that, for projects oriented organization, they're very you know uh, were part of you know some of the requests that Oracle was getting from customers. Then let's switch into order management, and in order management, uh, there is a very cool feature that is called the milestone billing. And for milestone billing, uh, we have seen that people was using project contract uh, to do this billing based on milestone. Now you have that right in order management. So within order management, you can have this milestone billing and you can set you know, uh, different items, 20% on, on signature, you know, 30% on a particular milestone and then complete it. Um, so this is a very cool feature uh, that you can do right there at order management without the uh, adding uh, into other modules. Um, manual item su substitution after booking uh, so you can search and you can you know substitute uh, after the booking, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then you know you have a, a few other enhancements uh, in in order management that are very important um, in terms of productivity. Now le let's jump into uh, logistics. So in logistics, um, there's a new user interface for inventory. Um, we are seeing this you know, quite often on new releases from eBusiness Suite and, and for 12 to 7, um, the inventory was the screen that was moved from forms into HTML. Uh, so the material workbench for inventory uh, was completely redesigned on HTML uh, and also, you know, in receiving and she shipping, there have been quite a few enhancements in the user interfaces. Uh, so this is, a, you know, very important and, and this is really, you know, the strategy from Oracle of uh, moving forms into HTML pages, but not every form, uh, just those who make sense to move from forms into HTML pages. Um, so there are a few other uh, additions into uh, inventory. Uh, in terms of manufacturing, um, there's quite a few enhancements in terms of uh, manufacturing execution systems, uh, as well as on the project manufacturing. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll look into that uh, if you are a, a manufacturing company. Uh, and value change, you know, and value chain planning, um, there's some functional security for HTML pages on the user interface. Uh, you can set, you know, within the screens, how you're going to 
you know, uh, secure those screens, which are important in terms of, of you know, uh, securing the information uh, for your users. Um, in terms of services, there are quite a few uh, enhancements on that. Uh, what I would mention is field service, you know, with self-assignment and, and level debrief. Um, but there are some quite a f also a few enhancements on teleservice in the HTML user interfaces. Uh, so, you know, you can look further on that. In, in terms of human capital management, uh, Time and labor got uh, a few enhancements, such as, you know, uh, this is good to mention for those in HR, you can do time entry for terminated employees. Um, now that also helps for the payroll and, and, you know, calculations on payroll, which, you know, there's uh, quite a few uh, productivity enhancements on that, that you don't have to rehire people, etc. cetera. Um, again, these are just a few uh, highlights on the new release. Um, for those uh, who have seen this before uh, September uh, 13th, uh, we're going to do a webcast uh, with Nadia Benjedu from Oracle Management, eBusiness Suite Management team on the lift and shift, which is a very important topic, how you do lift and shift or of Oracle Business Suite into the Oracle Cloud. Where are the benefits? We're going to talk about business cases uh, and as well as you know what are the benefits of doing that lift and shift, uh, whether it's for your development testing or even your production environment. Uh, so you know, look for uh, the email with the invite for that. And for those who are attending Open World, we are going to be doing a quite a few presentations at Open World, as well as uh, meetings at our booth. Uh, so if you are interested on in taking a look into 12 to 7, we're happy to do a demo for you at our booth. So feel free to uh, schedule. You go to itconversions.com and you can schedule uh, a meeting in advance. Um, every Everybody's calendar at Open World is pretty packed. So we're inviting you to set up uh, um, a demo, an interview, and, and meeting in advance with us so we can talk about your future plans or evidence street, whether it's for 12 to 7 or to the cloud. Uh, we're happy to do so. Um, thank you, and let's be in touch.